Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hey Buck Outdoors. Before we get into today's video, please do me a huge favor. Like, share, comment, subscribe. It helps us out in the algorithms. Helps me do what I do here every single day on the channel. Thank you. Hey everyone, so if you're anything like me, you like wearing a good pair of cowboy boots every single day. Um, square toe, snip toe, round toe, doesn't matter. Uh, if you're in the outdoors, if you're doing stuff on a daily basis, eventually you're going to deal with the rain, you're going to deal with wet, muddy conditions. Uh, a good way to prevent that is to waterproof your boots. Now, something that my wife showed me recently, besides just that typical spray you can buy at the store, is this mink oil right here. It's made by Redhead Brand Company, Bass Pro sells it, stuff like that. Um, it is a very, very excellent way to waterproof and condition your boots. What the conditioner does essentially, if you live in an arid climate, it basically keeps it moisturized, keeps the leather from cracking, keeps your boots in decent shape. I have already applied it to these. Um, I can show you how to apply it to it real quick. I'm not sure how much this stuff costs. I will look that up on the website real quick and put that somewhere up here in the editing process. But essentially, what mink oil looks like is this. Basically, it is what it says, mink oil. Um, essentially, what you're gonna do, because minks, uh, they're an aquatic mammal. They swim in water all day, so it makes sense for their oil basically rendered fat on the set, I'm assuming, to be able to waterproof your boots. <laughs> Dogs barking in the background, excuse me. Um, this is a pair of snip toes. I've worn these things all over the place. I've had these for a couple of years now. One of my favorite pairs of boots. So obviously I don't like getting water in my toes and definitely you can run into problems with dry rot and stuff like that or other mildew and sh stuff like that. You definitely don't want that. So I'll show you really quickly how to apply it. It's not too difficult. Uh, it also shows you instructions on the can, but basically take a dry rag, just a small little washcloth, something like that. Get all the excess dirt off your boots. Make sure that there isn't any, you know, large amount of dirt. And what you're gonna do is take a towel, like so. Now, take a good little glob of it here. Not too, too much. You're gonna need to apply a decent bit to it and you're gonna rub it. All right. So I got corrected by my wife because I was doing it wrong. So she says the better way to do it is stick your finger into the towel like this. So you can actually control where it's going. Does that sound correct, honey? <laughs> so basically take your boots and I was doing it wrong with swirling it all around. So you're going to do one motion and then just leave it. Now, basically, you're just going to do the bottom part of the boot. You see where the stitching is here, where it goes up to the top? You aren't going to go any further up than that. You're just going to stay down here uh, towards the tip of the boot and all the way up and just get around. You can get the sides and back if you want. Definitely try to get down towards the seam like this because that, that's where you really want the waterproofing. So uh, I will uh, put you guys in. Uh, so I'm going to put you guys in time lapse and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alrighty, so after you finish, it's gonna look something like this. It is going to leave your boots a little bit darker, so if you have a very light color of leather, like a light tan to a light brown, expect it to turn out something like this. If you don't want that, I'm sure there's other ways of waterproofing, but this is what this particular one does. I'm pretty sure it's all naturally derived, mink oil, i.e., you know, be natural. Um, but basically, after you get it to look like this, it's kind of a hack job. I'll take some more time after this and go over it in depth on my own time. However, you get the general idea. Once you do this, I recommend, what my wife has told me, for personal experience, you're going to basically just leave these in a cool, dry place for 24 to 48 hours, if that's possible. If not, no big worries. Just try to dry them off if you can. You just want that mink oil to set in there. Um, so that's what it's going to look like. Do that to both your boots. Leave it for 24 hours and you'll be set. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please have a fantastic day.